In today's Madden 21 tip video, we're going to be breaking down uh, some unique route concepts and route combinations that you can utilize out of the doubles flex pats formation in the New England Patriots playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you've never been to my channel before, I do Madden 21 tips and tricks videos here on YouTube every single day. We typically do four of these video breakdowns every day. So if you're interested in getting those free tips, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Alright guys, so we are in this Patriots playbook right here and this has some really unique uh, formations. One of them is this doubles flex and what you'll notice when you start to go through this is pretty much every single play from this formation has an auto motion on it. Now uh, auto motion plays are kind of hit or miss. You know they're either really really good or they're really really bad and there's really no in between. But what's really unique about this is you can create some interesting route concepts and route combinations um, off of each other within this formation within this playbook so uh, I'm just gonna go through and show you a couple of the routes that I really really like one of them is this Patriots corner play um, I really really like the route concepts on this specific play right here um, the only thing that I might do is I might take the tight end and just put him on a streak but what you're gonna see here on the right side of the field is you're gonna get some nice man beaters uh, really rolled into one you see this little running back shoot route is going to do very, very good against that man-to-man -man coverage. The next thing you're going to see on this play is this route to the right side. As you can see, it's kind of a, um, it's a really, really, really good Pats, like almost like a pat sale type of uh, post route. These are all over the Patriots playbook, and I just love these routes for beating man-to-man -man coverage this year. They're going to beat man. They're going to beat zone. They're going to consistently be one of the best routes every single year in Madden. And as you can see, this is no exception. This route right here is going to round right to the inside. You can hit that with an inside pass lead, and you're going to get that inside position every single time against that coverage. It doesn't matter if you have an ability or not. Even if, even one step ahead corners are not going to be able to sit with that uh, post route, which is what makes it so effective because it's a sharper angle, and it's going to get nice um, separation against the coverage. Now, what's also really cool about this doubles formation is if I ever want to not have to use the auto motion of a play, I can just put the wide receiver on a route. And what you're going to see is um, I'm not going to be able to motion anybody else, but he is going to be able to stay flexed out in that position. Now, what I really like also about this route is this route to Godwin. Chris Godwin on this little um, whip in route kind of thing, if they're running a lot of man-to-man -man coverage on you, this play is really, really effective against it. Uh, this corner route, as you can see, it's a nice rounded corner route. It's going to do fairly good um, against It's kind of a double cutting uh, corner route. Let me show you the play art here really quick. You see how he kind of cuts and then he kind of slants to the left a little bit and then he cuts hard outside. That little cut right there is actually a very unique and it's going to allow him to get really good separation against man, even if they have one step ahead on those corners because it's a, a second cut within the route. So one step ahead is not going to be able to stop it. So you have basically every route on this play, uh, with the exception of the tight end, obviously, uh, is going to beat man-to-man. -man. And I love what this little whip route does against the man-to-man -man coverage. As you see, it comes underneath it. Now, let me show you what this play does against zone coverage. Let's say they come out and they're like, okay, well, we're going to just you know, handle this auto motion by using zone coverage. Well, let me show you what you got. First and foremost, you have a high-low flood on this left side. You can hit this little running back route, and cover two is going to do the best job against it with the cloud flats. But all in all, if they're not playing hard flats out on this route right here, you could take this running back route all day long. Uh, this running back route has always been a very, very consistent read. Uh, as you can see here, you're just going to take your three, take your four, take your five. Death by a thousand paper cuts type of offense. Now what I want to do is I want to show you this corner route and show you how the rounding of the route is really going to help this route uh, against a lot of the coverages. So if they if they play hard flats on you, so let's say they're in cover three, but let's say they play hard flats on you because they're trying to take away that table route. Well, then what's going to open up for your offense is you're going to be able to hit this nice rounded corner route with a down and away pass lead. As you can see, he's going to get wide open against that defense. Now, what about Mabel coverage, right? Everybody's running Mabel coverage this year. Let me show you Mabel coverage on that side. So we've got the linebacker on hard flat to take the running back away. And we've got that curl flat to take away Chris Godwin. What you're going to see here is because this is rounding, you can low ball. Um, you can low ball Antonio Brown at the snap, uh, basically trying to hit him right before he cuts uh, to the outside. So let me show you what I'm talking about right here. We'll get that Mabel coverage set up for you. And what you'll see on this Pat's corner play 
It's going to come inside. I'm going to double click left trigger so that I can have immediate access to my quarterback right there as he's rounding. You can hit him with a nice low ball um, underneath the zone coverage, which is really, really nice. So this Pat's corner play really is going to do a good job um, at beating pretty much every coverage the defense is going to bring your way. Um, and then what I love about it is this little check down read right here to Godwin. If the user goes to the right, you're going to hit Godwin. If the user goes to the left, you're going to hit your post route. It's typically about how I'm going to play this. Um, I think vert hooks are going to do the best against this uh, little route here. But you'll see this, this route to Mike Evans. I personally like to smart route it against zone coverage. So we'll show you that as well because he's going to get a little bit deeper um, on a first and 10 situation. Obviously, if you're not in a first and 10 situation, you wouldn't want to do that. But you'll see he's going to get a little bit deeper. And what I like about this route, though, is it, it's really going to put a lot of stress on the defense because he's going to run on that little crossing post route um, pretty much all the way across the formation. So you can see here uh, they're going to have to cover. It's a multi-window route. He can be open at multiple points. Um, and real quick, because everyone on practice mode is basically a Hall of Fame pass rusher, what we're going to do is call off the dogs just to show you how this route can really work um, against the cover two defense. So as the as the route is progressing, what you're going to see is how it's going to be coming open at multiple different points uh, within this play. So you see he crosses, right, and then he's going to keep. He typically will keep going, um, especially if you if you smart route him. And in my opinion, like I said, smart routing this route is probably the best for it because it's going to get that deep, deep, you know, post style um, that we're accustomed to seeing. So you'll see right there. Um, and he'll, he'll come in just like that. Now, uh, let me show you uh, the read here. One other thing you can do. So you can take Godwin. You can put him on a uh, just a simple streak route. And with your tight end, maybe you put him on a delay fade, right? This little route combination. This is more of a traditional flood concept on the left side now. And what you'll see is that streak um, is really going to leave, you know, open passing lanes for your offense ability to be able to get up and down the field on this pass corner play. The next play I want to go over is this Pat's spot play. As you see, we've got some very unique route combination uh, within this. Now, I really just want to go over this route to the tight end. What you'll see is his little double move route. He's going to go out, and then he's going to come up. And as you see, he's going to roast that man-to-man -man coverage right there. So that little route right there is going to be a consistent uh, winner for you as far as it pertains to man-to-man -to -man coverage. The route on the right is a little stutter, a uh, little stutter streak to Mike Evans. Um, it's really good for press um, coverage. It's not necessarily the greatest route for, like, if they're going to shade coverage over top. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So we'll go to Pat's spot. And this is just shaded coverage over top on that man-to-man -man assignment on the outside. And what you'll see is he's going to get over him. So if, when, once he makes that cut to the outside, it's more of an aggressive catch that you're going to want to employ. Now, one thing you can try to do with this route is let's say they pass, let's say they, they play over top coverage, so they don't press him. So he doesn't get pressed at the snap of the ball, which you're, and you're going to be able to tell that, obviously. What you can do right when he cuts is you can kind of lowball it and turn it into a back shoulder uh, catch animation, as you can see right there. And then that way, you know, okay, well, if he's if he's not going to press me, then that means I can do this. It's that if this, then that formula. You know, if he doesn't press me, then I can hit that low ball. If he does press me, then what I can do is you can typically outside, up and away, outside pass lead this and do a little swerve catch, as you can see right there. And that's why, as a general rule, uh, with this pat spot play, you would want to run this to the left hash. Um, it's going to give you a little bit more space, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here uh, real quick. Now, if you guys have not joined the text message membership, be sure to do that. Um, we have a full gun bunch guide uh, that we have sent out to our text message members uh, for this week. So if you want to get videos like that and get access to content like that, all you got to do is just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left of the screen, and it's also in the description. But there, as you can see, um, you're going to be able to basically get that swerve catch going uh, on that outside. He's going to beat that animation, and because he's angling to the outside, it's going to get him away from the safety, which is really, really good for your offense. Okay, so that's a, a pat spot. And then this route to Godwin, uh, I'll show it. Go ahead and show it here. You see that he kind of gets inside position. Um, he's 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 more optimal for inside position on a wheel route for man-to-man -man coverage. 
it's much much better against zone um, and we can show you that here in just a second but this route you know if they're doing something like the shading outside coverage Godwin should get inside position and you should be able to low ball this right there as you can see that low ball is pretty good pretty consistent um, that he's gonna get in that situation and let me show you that one more time we're gonna go to pay Patriot spot do that little uh, wheel route right there that Godwin is on and we're just gonna snap it right here we're just gonna low ball this right down and you see you're gonna be able to hit that route against man it's one of the only wheel routes my opinion that you can really consistently beat man with uh, in the game Patriots drag um, this is a similar route combination basically um, you have that little underneath underneath mesh what I like about this is because he's an auto motion um, he's typically going to do a better job at beating man-to-man -man coverage as long as he doesn't get hit so like right there he got hit especially if they're in press if they're trying to man press you this little route combination right here um, does fairly well because you have basically a couple of unbumpable reads that they can't really you know it's gonna be a natural pick a natural rub and he's gonna be able to beat that man-to-man -man coverage now one little adjustment that I would make to the Patriots um, the drag the patch drag play is I would just take my um, my left side running back here and I just put him on a shoot flat as opposed to that little out route that's gonna basically create just a little bit more space and allow that natural pick to still occur um, but now it happens on the defenders not on your um, your uh, wide receivers so this formation is just kind of something that I thought was very interesting you see the PA cross play is actually pretty unique and I think pretty effective uh, I like to put the running back on a ghost route here but basically, he's going to come in on a motioned crossing route all across the formation right here. You see, it's going to absolutely burn man-to-man -man coverage, especially if he has good route running. The one issue with this specific play is the crossing route, the depth of the crossing route, in my opinion, is not quite where I would like to see it. I'd like, to, I'd like it to get a little bit deeper on here. But let me just show you. This is cloud flat coverage, and you see the cloud flat can handle the crossing route. That's the one thing I don't really like about it. Um, and let me just show you a tight end apprentice. Um, if you were to put your tight end on a crossing route, you'd see the same kind of thing. But if I were to put my slot receiver on a crossing route, you see it gets a lot greater depth. That difference in depth is monumental when you talk about you know where people are going to put their zone coverages. That crossing route's a lot deeper, and the cloud flat from a cover two can't really get to it. Okay, let me show you cover three on that Pat's cross really, really quickly here. Um, but what is cool is you've got the seam streak. You've got this nice route to Godwin. Um, I actually really like that route this year. Um, but you'll see you see how the purples can kind of hang with it. So it really effectively becomes a motion slant. But anyways, this formation does have some really unique plays, though. And some stuff, If you know, this is kind of a formation that I'll go to, um, especially to beat man-to-man -man coverage. You see you got that little motioned in. Uh, or that little uh, in route that you can hit right there. So just a lot of good stuff from this formation, in my opinion. If you have not already checked this formation out, I'd highly encourage you to check it out in the Patriots book. Um, our Patriots ebook, we are almost done with that. So make sure to be, uh, make sure to text me if you want to pick that up, uh, and I can send you the link to get that. That is going to be, like I said, it's going to be really, really good. And I'm trying to make it the most comprehensive guide on the New England Patriots playbook possible. So we're going to give you everything possible. We're going to give you U trips. We're going to give you uh, split close. We're going to give you trips tight end, gun bunch, gun spread from it, all of the formations in New England, uh, some of the ace stuff that you can do, uh, which is actually really unique and really um, effective, especially this year uh, with how effective shotgun running is. Uh, you'll see it really be effective. So anyways, guys, be sure to go ahead and text me if you have any questions or just to let me know you're interested in that guide so that I can shoot you that link when it launches. And um, I can also shoot you guys the bunch offense. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in our next video coming on at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And we will be streaming live tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel. And if you haven't joined the Discord yet, there's a link in the description below. Discord is basically kind of where we talk Madden 24-7 outside of YouTube, outside of just playing the game, you know, when you're at work or whatever. You could talk Madden with your buddies on this Discord platform. So uh, talk with me or talk with any of our guys over at the channel by clicking that Discord link and joining. Thank you so much for your time, guys, and we will see you on stream tonight.